Welcome to section 3.2 on the mean value theorem. So before talking about the mean value theorem, we have Rolle's theorem. This is that f be a function that satisfies these three hypotheses. f is continuous on a closed interval a to b, f is differentiable on the open interval a to b, and f of a is equal to f of b. Then there is a number c in the open interval a, b, such that f prime of c is equal to zero. We could see that going on in, well, all four of these graphs I have down here, right? This first, um, this first horizontal function right here between a and b, the value of the function is the same, but any point we have on there, the derivative is zero. Uh, just like with this function here, we have a and b, uh, we have that one point right here at the very tippy top where that derivative is zero. It happens on this one here, the third one twice. And on this last one right here, just once on there as well. So for the first example here, we want to prove that x cubed plus x minus one is equal to zero um, has exactly one real solution. So we are going to let f of x be equal to x cubed plus x minus one. And uh, when it comes to that, we can clearly see that if we put in zero for f, we get a, a sorry, zero for x and f, we get a value of negative one and that's, you know, less than zero. Likewise, if we put in the value of one into the function, we get a value of positive one and that's greater than zero. Right, so we also know that um, f of x is a polynomial. And so because it's a polynomial, <clears throat> it is continuous. and differentiable everywhere. So by the intermediate value theorem, by the intermediate val value theorem, there is, a, there is a number C in our open, in our um, closed interval zero to one, such that F of C is equal to zero. Which is going to be a solution, right? Um, so this shows that, you know, there, you know, this shows that there is a solution. To show that there is exactly one real solution, we're going to do this by a contradiction. So we're going to suppose that A and B um, are two solutions. This means that f of a is the same as f of b, which is that they're both equal to zero. So by Rolle's theorem, since we already know that f of x is continuous, um, since we already know f of x is continuous and differentiable, we already know all those. Uh, we know that there is a value C in our open interval A to B, such that F prime of C is equal to zero. But we know that if we were to differentiate F, we would get three X squared plus one. And that's greater than or equal to one. 
um, since x squared is greater than or equal to zero. And this occurs for whatever value x is. But we could see from this that f prime of x can never be zero, ever, because it's always greater than or equal to one. So this, this gives us a contradiction. Contradiction. Um, so we cannot have two real solutions. Just the one. Now here we have example two. Uh, we want to verify that the function satisfies the three hypotheses of Rolle's theorem on the given interval, and then find all numbers C that satisfy the conclusion of Rolle's theorem. Um, f of x is equal to one minus 24x plus two times x squared, and the um, interval is the closed interval from five to seven. So f of x is a polynomial. So it is continuous and differentiable. Continuous and differentiable. So um, because of that, we're fine with those first two. We could see though, if we put in five into our function, we get negative 69. If we put in seven into the function, we also get negative 69. So the two equal, we're also fine with that as well. So all three of those conditions are met. If we were to take the derivative of f of x, we get negative 24 plus 4x. And we could set that equal to zero. When we do, we just get a value of x to be 6. And if we specifically look at the value of 6, um, you know, we get that value of 0, as we just solved. So because of that, we do have that number c by Rolle's theorem to be the number 6. And one last example involving that is this. Concern the function f of x is equal to 16 minus x to the two thirds power. We first want to find f of negative 64 and f of 64. Um, f of negative 64 is zero and f of 64 is also zero. So those two are the same. We want to find all values C in the open interval negative 64 to positive 64, such that f prime of C is equal to zero. Um, f prime of X, is negative two thirds times x to the negative one third power. The only time that's equal to zero is, well, if we have um, the value of x is equal to zero. But, but based on the fact that that's what that value would have to be, um, that x is in the denominator. So it wouldn't exist at zero. So based off this information, what conclusions can be made about Rolle's theorem? Um, you know, that does not exist based on the derivative. And we also know that this function is not differentiable. On the open interval negative 64 to positive 64. So um, doesn't really tell us much about Rolle's theorem because one of the hypotheses is not met. This is part one of the section 3.2. Be on the lookout for the second part. Thank you.